Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about how people qualify for the world's strongest man. Now it's something of a bit of a black art, people don't really know how people get invited, but I think I've cracked it. Speaking with World's Strongest Man Direct, including the tournament director, I think I've worked out how they pick the athletes. That's why I was able to come up with 25 of the 30 names for this year's competition. So to kick off, the only person that's currently qualified for the 2023 World's Strongest Man is the current reigning champion, this year's champ Tom Stoltman. Everyone else is going to have to battle it out this year at a host of Giants Live shows, including Britain's Strongest Man, Europe's Strongest Man and a handful of others. Now you'll notice that Britain's and Europe's have already happened. They happened before this year's World's Strongest Man competition, so I'll assume that the athletes that make the podium will be chosen for next year's show. They've also got the Strongman Classic, happening on July the 9th. That's coming up soon, so hopefully we'll get to see some more names that could be possibly at next year's World's Strongest Man. Then on the 6th of August, they've got the Giants Live Open. This is a show where they can invite athletes from around the world because they don't have to be from Europe or Britain. And the same has to be said for the World Tour Finals happening on October the 8th. It's going to be a stacked lineup for all of these shows and I look forward to seeing which athletes make the podium. Next up you've got a new competition. This year they're holding the World's Strongest Nation November 26th, another chance for athletes to compete and qualify. And the final qualifying event is the Magnus ver Magnussen Classic, Giants Live also giving an opportunity to the top three guys making the podium in Iceland. Hopefully that also gives an Icelandic athlete a chance to compete and qualify for Worlds. Now next up they're going to look to invite previous World's Strongest Man champions. People like Zdrina Zavikas, Brian Shaw, Alexei Novikov and Martins Lysis will all have been given invitations to this year's show. Now as you'll notice, Zadrunas chose not to compete, but Brian, Martins and Alexei did really well, with Alexei and Martins making the podium and Brian coming in a close fourth, so definitely some really good athletes and people that made a big difference to this year's show. They will never have to qualify because where they've won it before, that's their golden ticket, and rightly so. I definitely think that all four guys have earned their chance to compete at another competition. Now something I want to cover is what happens if an athlete hits multiple podiums at Giants Live qualifiers. That's going to reduce down the numbers and opportunities for other names. What they do in that situation is look at athletes in 4th and 5th and make a decision if they want to invite them also. That's how Shane Flowers got his invitation. Next up we've got Pavlo Kordiaka. He is the winner of last year's official Strongman Games. Now technically that would normally mean an invitation to a Giants Live show, but in this case he put on such a show that they decided to give him a fast track to the world's strongest man. Now next up they're going to have to look further afield because currently they need 30 athletes but they don't have 30 ways to qualify, at least not officially. They're going to look at competitions like the Shaw Classic, the Rogue Invitational and also the Arnold Strongman Classic. That's somewhere they can see which athletes are performing well and who's going to be someone they'd like to have in their competition for next year. Martins Lisi's definitely stamped his name, being a current champion and also winning both the Arnold Classic and the Rogue Invitational. He was definitely going to be there. So once they've looked at all of those external competitions, including things like the Strongman Champions League, there's something I'm going to call legacy and loyalty. That's where Mark Felix fits in. He's an athlete that's given many years of his life to the world's strongest man and also Giants Live. You'll see him as a staple competitor at a lot of their shows, so it does make sense that they give him the opportunity at least to compete if he wants to. Another athlete that was invited this year was Nedzmin Ambaskovic. He's also another athlete who's part of that Giants Live family competing at the World Deadlift Championships. And finally, the last way they look at names is to reach out to people in the community. I myself was asked, who do I think should compete at this year's show? I put forward at least four names. They included Kim Uyrak, John Stephen Korobuf, Mitchell Hooper and also Kelvin De Reuter. Now as you'll see those four guys happen to get chosen, so I'm guessing they liked my ideas and also got the backup from various other people in the community. John Stephen Korobuf was a current Australia's Strongest Man Champion and so he got his invitation. He's also French which means they were able to fly another flag at this year's show. 
And in terms of Mitchell Hooper, what an awesome World Strongest Man he had. Definitely someone that when I mentioned his name, people had no idea who he was or why he should be invited. As it happens, he held the current Australia's record in the deadlift, 475 kilos. I also knew, having spoken to him, he was pretty good at a super yoke, and he proved that also, winning the Giants medley in the final. Expect to see more of Mitchell this year at Giants Live competitions. And I just want to quickly mention the reserve athletes. These are guys that almost made the first pick. Now they're taken out in reserve, just in case anyone has an injury. It also gives them a bit of a lifeline and some experience at World's Strongest Man. They get to see how the show is run, the wait times in between events, and also get a feel for what it will be like if they get to compete the following year. So that's it from me today guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video on how I feel you can qualify for the World's Strongest Man. If you're an athlete, maybe take note and check out some of those options because maybe you could see yourself competing next year. Anyway, like I said, that's it from me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I'll catch you again as always on the next one.